Braxton Brown way at the beginning of the evening tonight, making that move from 125 to 133. It's kind of catapulted Tommy Kapool into this 125 role in which he's 1-1 so far in duels, but coming off a big uh, win at Morgan State to kind of add some confidence as we kind of spoke with Alex Clemson, Kapool, a wrestler trying to keep growing and gaining that confidence. 3-0 advantage for Diagosino. As he over the back for a moment on Kapool, who's able to get the escape point. Kapool, redshirt sophomore from Waxhaw, North Carolina. Only the second dual meet of the season for Diagosino. Right, that was a win against Columbia, and that's a takedown for Diagosino there as he looks for the pin. From the legs, but escaping there is Brown. That also will be our first of the match. Instead, it goes Brown with the right leg hold on Ragason. Minor riding time. It's five seconds in Maryland's favor. And back on top goes Ragason. It's going to be three points awarded for Ragason, and the lad, the one more earlier for the escape. Yeah, there's another ranked Big Ten matchup tonight as well with Ohio State and Illinois, so the conference all around a powerhouse. Back into it here on the map between Brown and Ragason. Brown looking for the escape and gets it. Just as you called, Ben. It's the one point on the escape for Brown, but he still has the three to make up from the earlier takedown. That will do it. It's a decision coming. Three points in favor of Michigan. It was Lemus who took down Khalid Brinkley of Morgan State. That one was a 14 to zero. Easy advantage and major decision for Lemus as he flips right there. And with that takedown, it'll be three points awarded to Sergio Lemley. With the escape two, it's now six to two in favor of Sergio Lemley. Michigan in position right now, still early in this first period, but positioning themselves to take a good lead by winning the first two bouts. Now with these three takedowns to go in here, but it's getting late early on Lemus. Lumley, originally from Chestertown, Indiana, as we get this second period underway. Gomez, a graduate from both Iowa State and Michigan, or Iowa State and Wisconsin, not Michigan yet. As a flip down by Gomez comes down, looking for the pin. Quick three points on that takedown from Gomez. A fast one, Ben. And quick, and that one kind of sprung out of nowhere. It did. He had three points for the takedown a second ago, and now for the near fall, it's going to be another four points. Sven Miller on the right leg, flipped. And it's going to be a takedown. The first one of the day for Maryland comes via Ethan Miller. That one, Gomez right there adding a big four points. Our first near fall of the day. But it's moving so quick. Here is Gomez. 3-0 and so far. Again with wins at American versus Pitt. And at Morgan State. And three big points for Zach Matten if he wants to make that happen. As Matten takes a 3-0 advantage on the takedown. Final 30 seconds here. North needs something, he needs a quick takedown, but at first, an escape would need to come. Onto his back goes North, and we start counting, but North able to get out of it. And it's gonna be two near fall points added for Zach Matten, so that raises us to 5-0. Riding time now over a minute 45, and with seven seconds left in the third period, that'll add another point on, which will be a, another decisive decision win here. For Maryland, who, for not Maryland, Michigan, I should say. It's been nothing for Maryland so far, Ben. But the Wolverines, now four matches wrestled in, four big wins so far, and it brings our total to 14 to 0. Then the Lemus and Lemley duel, mm. or Matt, uh, bout, I should say. As good as Amina at number five in the entire country. And like we said earlier, with some of the other bouts, you kind of use it as a measuring stick. Big takedown comes there from Amine, and he's looking for the pin now here on Money. Money has that left shoulder up. 
to avoid the pin, but a emphatic first takedown for Cameron Amine right in front of the Michigan fan section. Money onto his back, it's gonna be four points. Big advantage for the Wolverines. The pin had six points, make it Michigan 20, Maryland zero, and Ben, that one was over quick here there for the ranked Cameron Amine. So far, one of the very best 174 wrestlers in the country. And the first takedown comes from Shane Griffin, so the 0-0 stalemate, Ben, could only be held so long for Gavin Bell. As Bell trying to utilize the speed again while going for the head and going for the leg is Shane Griffith. There'll be another three points for a takedown. But the right arm of Bell pinned back against him, looking for the flip over, but Bell not making it easy. You can see the right leg trying to move back up. And he gets back to his feet, and it'll be a reversal come for Gavin Bell. It's the first one we see by a Turf wrestler so far here today. 20. Final seconds in the second period. And it's now Griffith trying to add on more points. And how about reversing the reversal and adding two more points for Shane Griffith? Bullock looks for the head. And then goes for the legs and gets the takedown. As he stabilizes it with the legs, again stabilizing it, and the flip over by Bullock. Move by there, and that'll be an escape for Bullock. Makes it 4-0 in favor of the Wolverines. Aiming for the right arm, now going for Milnick, but Milnick will get out for the escape. It's the first points of the bout for Chase Milnick. First minute through, nothing yet between Smith and Trigo on the scoreboard. And going for the right leg and trying to get the takedown and getting it is Jackson Smith. The takedown on Bobby Trigo. We get into the final 30 seconds of our first period. Over 50 seconds of riding time in favor of the redshirt sophomore Jackson Smith, one of two team captains for head coach Alex Clemson and this Terps wrestling team. An escape from Bobby Shrigo. And finally it's an escape comes and all of a sudden it's only a one point lead from Smith as that big takedown feels. How about the jolt up from Jackson Smith to try to Stop the riding time and now stop a takedown and he gets an escape back into the middle. Most matchups you're going to be favored to win so it's just him executing right there. And we just mentioned how a Maryland wrestler highly favored against a non-ranked opponent. How about we flip that script here. Wrestler with some experience here. The senior, Gabriel, getting put into this role here. Seth Nevels, the usual heavyweight wrestler. The only Maryland wrestler to now be undefeated and compete in every dual match for Maryland as he gets it done there against Bobby Shrigo. And looking to rain perfect. He gets a takedown there for Lucas Davison. He's going for the big flip over and looking for the pit and getting it is Lucas Davison. An exclamation point on an exclamation, exclamation evening for Michigan. Their second pin so far tonight and it's Davison getting it over Jordan Gabriel 